Welcome to VidZet. I'm Dr. Ted Noel. The left started talking impeachment the moment Donald Trump was elected. Then, perhaps, taking a cue from us at VidZet, they started saying that Donald had some horrific disease that made him unfit to serve. That would allow them to invoke the 25th Amendment and get rid of him. Hey, sounds fair. If we can do it, they can do it. But they forgot something. The first step is a complete history and physical exam. Of course, we couldn't do an exam on Hillary, and they can't do one on Donald. But Hillary's history was from the public record. And guess what? Donald has a big history in the public record as well. We did a good job from what was out there. Unfortunately for the left, they didn't even look at the history in any detail. The biggest bad idea is that President Trump has neurosyphilis. This is a neurological disease that starts with a sexually transmitted illness. And an infectious disease specialist, Dr. Stephen Butler, proposes it. Wow! He practices in the specialty that should have the most knowledge about the problem. But he completely blows the first step of the diagnostic process. He only looks at one item in the president's history. And as a young man, Donald Trump was sexually promiscuous. This would mean he had a chance to be infected. That's as far as Dr. Butler goes. Does this mean, though, that Donald even if he had gotten syphilis, wasn't properly treated. I mean, that's really unlikely. Syphilis is very easy to treat, and a single injection of penicillin is usually enough. And remember, Donald was very rich, with full access to the best medical care. Give me a break. Dr. Butler then goes on to discuss a number of signs of neurosyphilis that would suggest we should pursue the question. But then he hides behind the fact that neurosyphilis can give a pot full of different neurological problems. Supposedly, Donald has poor insight, bad judgment, insomnia, and squinting. Patchy hair loss is the final straw. This is a list of pure BS. Donald is Donald. His personality has been on public view since his earliest years, and it has not changed. His supposedly poor insight led him to make billions of dollars and to read the public mood with uncanny accuracy. People who don't like him will see his style as evil or pathological. Even I wasn't in his camp to start with, but he has proven that he's acting to restore liberty to America. That's great judgment, not bad judgment. Now remember when I emphasized a complete history. Neurosyphilis is a progressive disease. That means things get worse over time and there's no evidence of progression of any supposed symptoms. Dr. Butler argues that President Trump has insomnia from syphilis. Again, this is pure BS. The president is one of those high achievers who only sleeps four or five hours in a night. That's not insomnia, that's drive. As for squinting, all of us do it from time to time when the lights are bright. And the hair loss? Let's see. Putting it all together, Dr. Butler's article is a hit job with no real foundation. Now, I will give him credit for putting syphilis into a differential diagnosis rather than a firm conclusion. 
but it's still a hit job by someone who doesn't like the president and wants to delegitimize him. There's no there there. One other theory is making the rounds. Supposedly the president suffers from narcissistic personality disorder. The name comes from a mythological character who fell in love with his own reflection of a pool, leading to his death. Almost all politicians have some degree of narcissism, or they probably wouldn't run for office. But even the author of the Diagnostic Criteria for Narcissistic Personality Disorder, a psychiatrist who doesn't like the president, is emphatic that he doesn't have it. It's okay to disagree with the president, but it's not okay to do a bad job of looking at a medical history. If you're going to throw stones, do the kind of job we did. Build a rational story with evidence that shows your story is more likely true than not. If you can't do that, then don't pretend that you're making a medical assessment. I'm Dr. Ted Noel. Thanks for watching.